Princess Aura always has the best birthday parties, and this year friends from all over the galaxy were heading to her planet to NG the celebrations. Captain Fantastic and his wonder dog Winston had picked the perfect present for their inspiring friend. However, Captain Fantastic's arch nemesis, the evil Dr. Zob, was determined that there would be no birthday cake for the pair at the end of this trip. The rocket ship stood proudly on the launch pad, ready for takeoff. Captain Fantastic had just finished loading Princess Aura's awkwardly long birthday present. That's it, Winston, he said, patting his faithful dog. Now I just need to go and return all this wrapping paper. And he headed towards the hangar, while untangling himself from all the super sticky tape he'd used to wrap up the gift. Winston gave a happy bark, and off Captain Fantastic went into the space hangar. As Winston returned to the spaceship, he thought he saw someone walking away from their rocket ship. He looked familiar. Was that Dr. Zob? Later, in the ship, all systems were go. Lights blinked, screens lit up, and Captain Fantastic and Winston were strapped in, ready to go. 5 or MIP 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off and away we go, shouted Captain Fantastic, a big grin on his face whenever he headed back out into space. Today, Winston only gave a little whimper, though. What was that Dr. Zob up to? On Dr. Zob's great black ship, however, there was only laughter, the kind only an evil genius can produce, deep from the stomach and exploding from the mouth. Good luck, Captain Fantastic. Enjoy your ride. Both ships were now busy with the sound of song. Roaring in our rocket, flying really fast, being in a spaceship is a blast, 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 sang Captain Fantastic. While on the dark ship of Zob, his creepy chorus rang out. My mean machine is in the socket. It will make the captain fluster. Magnetic power will route his rocket to the crazy comet cluster. Not long now, Winston. Prince Aura's planet is just around the next sun, explained Captain Fantastic. Out of the window, Winston stared at the golden planets and the shining suns flying past as they hurtled through space. Wah, wah, wah. The cool hum of the spaceship was suddenly thrown into chaos as the red warning light flashed and the ship suddenly and sharply turned around. Oh no! cried Captain Fantastic. We're going the wrong way. Winston looked at the screen and saw where they were headed. Oh no, indeed! The yellow rocket ship was now headed towards the crazy comet cluster, the zaniest place in space. Hundreds of blazing red comets swarmed around a golden yellow sun, and if a spaceship got too close, they would chase and churn it for hours upon hours. Winston barked and ran to the back of the ship. Don't worry, boy, said Captain Fantastic. It will be okay, I hope. As he started pressing buttons and fighting with the spaceship steering wheel, sweat broke out on his forehead and his eyes widened into two moons of panic. Winston was not really scared, however. He was searching for whatever the mischievous Dr. Zob had hidden on their ship. Winston knew that it was the only reason they were in trouble, but what was it? Watching from behind a small green moon was the shadowy spaceship of Dr. Zob. A big smile of satisfaction grew on his face as he watched the captain's ship head towards the crazy comet cluster. Once again, his evil laugh echoed around the gleaming cockpit of his ship. Magnetic force, keep that rocket off course he whispered to himself. Winston knew they were almost out of time when he saw it, or rather, he sniffed out the evil stench of where Dr. Zob had been. It was a small blinking box just underneath the main computer. That had to be it. Dr. Zob had made the yellow rocket go in the wrong direction using one of his mischief machines. Quick as a flash, Winston snatched the box in his jaws and teetering along the lengthy birthday gift threw it to the Space Particle Accelerator Machine, SPAM for short. He then used his paws and sent the device back to Dr. Zob's nearby ship. Let's see how much he enjoys those crazy comets, thought Winston.
Winston. Back on the bridge, Captain Fantastic was still banging, twisting, pushing and pressing everything he could when suddenly the ship turned around and headed back to Princess Aura's planet. Winston trotted in and gave a friendly happy bark. I told you not to worry, Winston. As I say, with the captain around, a solution is found. Winston gave a happy bark before picking up his favourite bone and settling back to enjoy the remainder of the journey. A short while later, Captain Fantastic and Winston were getting hugs and high fives as Princess Aura opened up her birthday present. Anti-gravity skies! Cool, she said, while up above some crazy comets were chasing a rather unhappy Dr. Zob.